Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make my wooden house number 12. If you want to make it, here's what you're going to need. You will need some spruce wood, some birchwood planks, you'll also need birchwood stairs, and finally, grab yourself some glass paint. And those are the only four materials that we're going to be needing, so once you have these, and once you've figured out what you want to make it, I'll be making it right here. You're going to want to kick off your house with a row of five spruce wood coming directly up from the floor. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Just like that. And once you have your row of five spruce wood, you then want to come up to this fifth block, this top block, and go right of it by six. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then connect that sixth block to the ground, like so. Once you've done that, you then want to return back up to this sixth block and go right of it by six. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then connect that sixth block to the ground. Once you've done that, we just want to do the exact same thing one more time. So come back up to this sixth block and go right of it one more time by six. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then connect that sixth block to the ground to give you three archway shapes next to each other in a row like that. Oh, and by the way, once you've done this, I know that some of you guys like this information, the entrance for the house is actually designed to go right here and look roughly like that. Just for those of you that like to know that information, it's going to go right in the dead center of that middle archway. That's where the entrance is going to be. You might want to build that, that's up to you. Once you've reached this point right here, this is what you want to do next. So, basically, you guys can see how we have these three mini archways on the ground. Well, we now want to do the exact same thing on top of our archways. It's really easy, but somewhat difficult to explain. This is what you want to do. You want to do four rows of five coming up in vertical rows kind of in the exact same place that we have them connecting to the floor. Again, this is what you want to do. One, two, three, four, five. And then here as well, one, two, three, four, five. Here as well, one, two, three, four, five. And here as well, one, two, three, four, five. And then you just want to connect each one of those fifth blocks together. So you want to form something which should look a little bit like this. It's pretty obvious what I've done, but it was a little difficult for me to get that out in words. But should be easy enough for you guys to do that. Once you've done that, we can now move on to the next bit. So you now want to come all the way around to the back of your house. If you've added the entrance, I imagine that you've already committed to that side being the front of your house, but come to whichever side you want the back of your house to be. What we're now going to do is we're going to take each one of these connection points that we have in our spruce wood. So this block here, this block here, this block here, so on and so forth, and we're going to extend each one of those connection points going towards the back of the house, each by six. So like this, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. And you also actually want to do the exact same thing on the top of the house as well, so. You also want to do one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. And what you then want to do is connect each one of those six blocks together. And you also want to connect each one of those six blocks both to the ground and or to the lower part of the house. So. You just essentially want to make a series of cubes is what it should look like once you've done all of that. We've just got to connect this lower set to the ground now, which is what I'm doing now. So 
Once you've done all of that, once you've taken each one of those, oh, I don't know how many we've just done, eight connection points, once you've extended them, coming towards the back of the house, connected them together, connected them to the ground, this is what you want to end up with. And once you've done that one time, you now actually want to do the exact same thing just once more. So we now want to take each one of these spruce woods that we can actually see the grain of and do the exact same thing. So one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 And one, two, three, four, five, six. And now, of course, we just want to connect all of them together. And then we just want to connect each of them to the ground slash to the lower part of the house. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. And in doing this, the most complicated part of the framework is done. The, the big, massive, bulky part. We do have a little bit left to do in terms of the framework. We've got a little bit to add to the sides of the house and the front of the house as well. But for the most part, the, the hard stuff is done, shall we say. So what you want to end up with in total is something that should look a little bit like this. And a view that might help you ever so slightly more is you want to end up with something that should look like that, a nice rectangular grid shape. Once you've reached this point right here, this is what you want to do next. So come all the way over to the left hand side of your house or the right hand side. We've got to do the exact same thing on both sides. What you essentially want to do is starting from this block right here. Can you guys see this? We're on the left hand side of the house. This block right here, you want to do a row of two spruce wood coming out from this block. So that's one, two, just out of the side. Then connect this second spruce wood to the ground like this. Once you've done that on the left hand side of the left hand side of the house, you want to do the exact same thing on the right hand side of the left hand side of the house, if you guys can see what I'm saying. So from this block on this side of the house, one, two, then connect it to the ground like that. So you've made two kind of like upside down L shapes. You then want to connect them together, second block to second block or corner block to corner block to form a shape which should look like this if you guys can see what we've done there we've just extended the house out to the side just a little bit what you want to do once you've done that is starting from on top of this block right here if you guys can see which block i have highlighted this block right here place a spruce wood on top of this block then do four upright diagonals from this spruce wood so that's one two three four then do bottom right diagonals from this fourth upright diagonal until you connect all the way back down to the other side of the little bit of framework that you've just done. So you want to end up with a nice triangular shape like this. And once you've done that to one side of the house, you now want to do the exact same thing all the way over on the opposite side. So coming to the opposite side now, we'll take this block first. You guys can see what I'm talking about. Out by two, one, two connect it to the ground or not there we go connect it to the ground then do the exact same thing on the other side here one two connect it to the ground then connect it together like this I want that spruce wood facing a certain direction and that one as well there we go my OCD just had to uh, be satiated then so once you form that little bit of framework you now want to take this block right here you guys can see the one, place a spruce wood on top of it, then do four upright diagonals, so that's one, two, three, and four, then do bottom right diagonals from that fourth upright diagonal until you connect all the way down to the top of that little mini bit of framework that we've done to form yet another triangular shape. Once you've done that, this is what you want to do next. So come all the way around to the front of your house. You want to be on top of this middle section on the front of your house. And you actually want to be on top of this block right here where we have the grain of the spruce wood facing us here. You want to, on top of this spruce wood block, do a row of three spruce wood coming up. So that's one, two, three. Then do three upright diagonals. So that's one, two, three, 
Then do three bottom right diagonals. So that's one, two, three. And then connect that third bottom right diagonal to the framework. So you want to form this shape. Kind of, again, a little bit of a triangular shape-ish. On the top of the front of the middle part of your house. Easy enough, right? So what you want to have in total is something that should look a little bit like this. And is it just me or does this kind of look like a church or like the framework of a church at the moment. That's kind of cool. I should probably make a church in the future. I don't know why I haven't already. Anyway, once you've reached this point right here, this is what we're going to do next. So I suppose we should do the framework for the rest of the roof whilst we're still doing stuff. So come all the way over to the left hand side of your house once again. I was going to leave this for later. I was going to completely fill in the house and then do all the roofs in one go. But we may as well just add the framework in now. So come all the way up to the top left hand side of the house. You want to be on top of this block that we have right here. Right near the top back left hand corner. On top of this block, place a spruce wood coming up. Then do five upright diagonals with your spruce wood. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And then take this fifth upright diagonal and just do bottom right diagonals until you connect all the way down to the top of the framework of your house once again. So you just want to form a nice triangular shape that you should probably be accustomed to just about now. So once you've done that on one side of the house, you now want to do the exact same thing on the opposite side. So come in here from this block, one spruce wood block, then five upright diagonals. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we just want to do bottom right diagonals until you connect all the way down to the top of the framework. So you just want to end up with something that should look a little bit like that. Easy enough, I hope. Once you've got that taken care of, this is what we will do next. So I suppose it's now actually time for us to fill in all of the walls of our house. Then we'll be doing the roof and then we will actually be done. So let's do it, shall we? We will start with the entire front of the house. We're going to completely fill in the front of the house and then we're going to do the same to the side, same to the back. So for the front of the house, this is how I'm going to do it. It is really, really easy to fill in the front of the house. It's really simple to fill it any one side of this house, actually. And the easiest way to do it, I'm pretty sure, is for me to just completely fill in the front, show you guys what it should look like, and then just give you guys a nice still. You guys can pause the video, and then you can move on as you complete each side of the house. I'm telling you guys, it is really, really simple. And there's no real point in me trying to explain it because it won't end well. I will confuse you, I will confuse myself, when all you really have to do is once I finish the front, and I've just about done it now, once I finish the front, if you guys just look at what I've done, you will be able to ju ju juice, ju juice, you'll be able to juice quite easily what you actually have to do for yourselves, so <laughs> juice for yourselves quite easily. I'm, uh, English is my first language, I'm just saying. Alright, so let's take a look at what you actually want to do for the front of the house. So, this is what you want to have. It's really, really simple, like I said. The left and right hand sides are completely identical towards each other, it's really simple. Starting from the outside coming in, you've just got birch wood planks, then spruce wood glass in the center. Entrance is simple, we already laid the little mini archway so it's just birch wood planks. And the two floors above it, all you have starting from the outside coming in, you've just got birch wood glass and then spruce wood planks. It's really simple, see what I mean guys? Why, why bother trying to explain that when you can just look at it and you will have no problem. So pause this video here, apply everything that you see, and once you've done that, we can then move on to the rest of the house. So we're going to do the sides next. So let me just do literally the exact same thing on the sides here and then I, I can just show you guys what you've got to do for it. it again, it's, it's just going to be easiest if I do it this way. So we're just going to do the outward parts of the side here and then, um, and then we can move on. 
It's, it's really simple. As I keep saying, if there's one thing that I do keep saying over and over again is how easy this is. And it's not some form of brainwashing technique, trust me. Although, that might work. It really is just quite simple. So, so simple. So, let me just do the little bit of the roof up here. There is a little bit more to do on the side just because it's not kind of, it's just not conventional. It's uh, it's not just like the outward face. We've got to do a little bit that's kind of like hidden away by the little bit of framework that we added. But it's, it's still pretty easy. So let me just do the roof there. And then we've just got to essentially fill this in here with birch wood planks let me just do this I'm making sure that I'm doing this right because we don't want any holes in our house there we go so let me go to the outside and then show you guys what I've done so this is what you want to have on the side of your house again it's equally easy uh, just remember to add in that kind of like strip of spruce wood that just goes like vertical all the way through the middle of the side of the house. As you guys can see, it starts right at the bottom and it goes all the way up to the roof. And then everything else is, again, it's really, really straightforward. The only thing that I will mention, can you guys see how we did like those birch wood planks like on the inside of the house, like the actual main wall of the side of the house? What you're essentially trying to do with that, uh, with the birch wood planks there, is you're just trying to make sure that there's not going to be any holes in the house once we add in the roof. And it might be easier to do once we've actually added the little mini roof that's going to sit on that side of the house. But this is what you want to do, guys. I've actually missed a block. Can you guys see that right up the top here? We actually missed a birch wood plank. There we go. I was good to see that, but that is what you want to have for the side of the house. Again, really, really simple. Pause this if necessary. Once you've done that to one side, you actually want to do the exact same thing on the opposite side here. So coming up to the opposite side, just starting off by adding this vertical row of spruce wood all the way up the side of the house. Then I guess I'll do the roof part here first. Just got to add glass pane here, then some spruce wood here. If I can place on top of the pane, it's always a pane. And then birch wood planks everywhere else, and that will be done. Now if we come down here to the little mini outward part of the side of the house, we've just got some glass panes, some spruce wood, some more birch to add. Here, here, and here. And we've just got the little mini roofy part to do, so... We'll add in all of that glass, and then it's just birch wood planks all the way around it, like that. And now all we have to do is just come to the inside of the house, and what we're basically doing, if you make sure that the birch wood planks on the inside of the house kind of like just, it kind of just like covers up those spruce wood planks, uh, not the spruce wood planks, if your birch wood planks kind of just like covers the spruce wood planks that we have on the outside of the house, if you guys can see what we're doing, then you shouldn't have any holes in your house a lot later on. But this is the sort of pattern that you're trying to form on the inside. An alternative would be to just completely fill in the inside walls with the birch wood planks. But I don't like that, that's up to you. But just to show you guys this opposite side of the house one more time, this is what you want to have on the second side of your house. Identical to the first, once you've got one done, the second one is easy. Pause this if necessary, of course. Once you've got that taken care of, we can now move on to the back of the house. So, so for the back of the house, I actually made it so that each one of these quadrants, each one of these panels was just absolutely identical to each other. And they actually follow the exact same pattern that we have on the front of the house. If you guys can see on the left and right hand side of the front of the house, that's the exact same thing that we're doing all the way across the back. Just like starting from the outside working in, we've just got our birch wood planks, then we've got our spruce wood, and then we have our glass pane in the center. And that's exactly what we're doing just all the way around the back of our house. That is all we're doing. It's as simple as that. So 
Once we've done this, we've just got to do one little thing on the side of the house again that I actually just remembered. I completely forgot about it, although I'm sure that uh, it's pretty obvious that I kind of missed it out as you look at it. But we've almost done the back here. And once we've done that, we can make that little alteration. Then we can do the roof. And then we actually have a porch as well. I completely forgot about the porch. We've got to add that and then we'll be done. It's uh, What we have left is actually really, really simple. So... Let me just show you guys the back of the house. If you guys see what I mean, on the front of the house we have this exact same pattern on the left and the right hand side. I just expanded it all the way across the back of the house just because I kind of like it. So that is what you want to have on the back of your house. Pause this if necessary, apply everything that you see here. Once you've done that, we can now move on to the sides of the house again. And I just left out a very, very small thing. Can you guys see here? Like, just where we have these gaps on, like, the front and the backs of the house. Like, if you were to look from the front or the back, we just have those two gaps that I've kind of filled in with birchwood planks. I completely forgot about that. Just fill these empty spaces in here with birchwood planks. That's It's as simple as that. That's the very small thing that I forgot. But it would have been very obvious. You would have noticed it at some point anyway. So... What you want to have in total is something that should look a little bit like this. And this is the framework done. It's all of the walls completely filled in. And once you've reached this point right here, all we have to do now is the roofs and the porch. So we're going to start off with the main roof first of all, and then we'll do the two mini roofs. So take out your birchwood stairs and come all the way to the front of your house. So, the roof actually starts in this position right here, and I'm just going to build up the roof just a little bit on the front of the house, and then I'll show you how it's supposed to look. Because since we have this little thing on the front of the house here, it just, it makes things ever so slightly trickier, but um, it's, it's, it's not really difficult. The whole point of the front of the roof is for the roof to kind of like, it gets to a certain point, like coming across from the left hand side it will come to the certain point probably about midway and then it will want to start wrapping around like the front part of the house if you guys can see what i mean again it's really difficult to put into words and that's why i just wanted to build this part of the roof for you if you guys can see what i've done there the birchwood stairs will get to a certain point and then you'll just want to start them kind of just like just like forming a roof for this outward front part of the house all by itself. And again, guys, I'm, I'm really sorry. It's really difficult for me to put into words. But hopefully you guys can see and you guys can do it for yourself. Hopefully you can see what I've done there. I mean, uh, it's, not, it's not difficult by any means. It's, uh, it's just hard for me to explain just as so many things are. But uh, all you want to do... Put in simple terms, is you just want to meld the front part of the roof with this little outward front part of the house. So, you just want to end up with something that should look, just to show you guys the whole front part of the roof, that should look a little bit like this and hopefully it's obvious to you guys what you have to do there i really do hope it is so once you've got that front part of the roof completely taken care of you now want to come to the back part of the roof and this bit's completely easy this back part of the roof you don't have to think about anything whatsoever you've just got to completely fill it in you've just got to add on your layers and layers and layers and you're you're completely fine we've just got to eventually hit the apex and then everything will be dandy so we're just on the back here and i'm noticing on the front can you guys see that on the front of the roof now that i notice it i kind of i kind of can't unnotice it on the front part of the roof if you don't place a birchwood plank here and here you'll just have holes in your house if you guys can see what i've just done to kind of Oh god, my nose is blocked. Why Why am I getting ill in the middle of a tutorial? If you guys can see what I've just done there, I've added birchwood planks just where there was some light coming through. And I figured that I'd just do that whilst I noticed it. And whilst it's still actually easy to get to it, whilst the roof is uh, still being built. But if you guys can see the two positions that I've just put those birchwood planks in, 
then uh, you might want to do the same, or you can just have holes in your house, that's completely up to you. So, as you can see, I have built up the entire back part of the roof now. Once you've done the front and the back, this is what you want to do next. So, we're now going to make the roof look a little bit nicer, and this is very standard in my tutorials now, especially with the roofs. All you now want to do is make sure that the roof overhangs the sides, the front of the house, any side where it starts, you just want to make sure that it overhangs the side of the house by one row, and then you want to add a layer of upside down stairs underneath that overhanging layer of stairs, if you guys can see what I've done here. I'm sure that many of you guys are accustomed to this. Just want to, on this right hand side for example, add that overhanging layer, and then just do upside down stairs, and then just to finish it off, we want to place a spruce wood all the way at the top there just to join each side of the roof together. And of course, not only do we want to do it on that side of the house, we want to do the exact same thing all the way over on this opposite side. We just want to add the extra layer here. Then we'll add upside down stairs. We'll add that spruce wood plank whilst we're here as well. And then we can just add birch wood stairs here. Then upside down stairs. And once we've done that, we actually have to do the exact same thing on the front of the house as well. So this is the opposite side of the roof. As you can see, it's identical. Now, coming to the front part of the house, we want to do the exact same thing here as well. So just adding in the overhanging layers of stairs, we've added in that spruce wood block there. Then we just want to add in upside down the stairs and what it wants to end up looking like is something that should look a little bit like this. Looking pretty nice if you ask me. Once you've got all of those details done to the big main part of the roof, all we have to do now is come up to the top of the roof and you want to add in spruce wood everywhere that we have a hole at the top of the house if you guys can see what I'm talking about. So as you guys can see how we had like a big giant T-shaped gap on the top of the house at the top of the roof, just completely fill that in with spruce wood and you're good to go. Once you have fully completed the main roof, we can now do the exact same thing. It is really the exact same thing to the two little mini sections on the left and right hand side of the house. So we're on the left hand side with a... Bruce Wood stairs, where is Spruce Wood stairs? Birchwood stairs, and you want to do the exact same thing. So the roof just wants to start like in line with the top of the framework for this little mini part of the house. And then, just as you'd expect, you just want to add in your layers and layers of stairs, which really don't want to face correctly. My god, I'm having so much trouble. <laughs> okay, good. And then once you've done one side, of course, you just want to do the exact same thing to the other side. Place the right way! What is wrong with you? Why? Just just place the right way. Why, why are you doing this to me? So, you just want to add in your layers of stairs just on the front and the back. And then, of course, we just want to have that overhanging row just as we have everywhere else on the house and once we've got the overhanging row we then just want to do underhanging stairs and then spruce wood right at the top of the middle here and also connect it to the house like this and then we can just do our upside down birchwood stairs just as i'm doing now so you want to end up with something that should look a little bit just to show you guys the top part as well that should look a little bit like that the reason that i did that as quickly as possible trust me that was as quickly as possible i kept messing up uh it's it's the exact same thing that we've actually done three times already now we've done it four times so coming to the opposite side of the house now we're just doing the exact same thing build up the stairs then we will do the overhanging layer of stairs, then the underhanging, then we will just connect everything together with spruce wood. So we're just on the opposite side of the house now, here, then add the overhanging layer of stairs. Very carefully to make sure that I don't make any mistakes. Add the spruce wood at the top here, destroy a block in the process, connect it to the house like that, and then we just add the upside down stairs 
just like this. And what you want to end up with is something that should look a little bit like that. Again, exact same thing that we have on the opposite side of the house. Really, really simple. So once you've got all of the roofs taken care of, of which there are many, all we have to do now to completely finish off this house is just add a little bit of a porch. So come all the way to the front of the house and starting from in front of this block right here, can you guys see this? very much near the entrance this block right here do a row of two spruce wood coming out of the front of the house one two then do the exact same thing on the opposite side of this little bit of the entrance one two connect each one of those second blocks together then connect them to the ground like this there and there you then just want to do starting from this block a little triangular patch of spruce wood like so place a glass paint in the center there and then you just want to build up a little mini roof for the porch that you've just made so if you guys can see exactly what i've done here and i know that i did that pretty fast guys but the only measurements that really matter are the are where you actually want to put that first initial spruce wood and then how far you just want to come out with it. I mean, there's nothing else that's really important about that. And I'm sure that you guys will be able to grasp that no problem. So what you want to end up with, once you've added this little mini part of the roof, what you want to end up with is something that should look a little bit like this. And there you go, guys. That is actually the exterior of the house, the actual house itself, 100% fully built that took a while didn't it it's actually a bigger house than you might guess it's it's quite big it really is well guys what i'm now going to do once you have 100 percent fully completed the house like i have god this is my favorite view i love that view of the house that's fantastic what i'm now going to do is i'm going to whisk away i'm going to grab myself some water since my throat is killing me and i'm going to mess about with the interior of the house and the exterior of the house just a little bit just to show you guys what sort of room you're looking at and what it could look like with about 10 minutes work put into it. So I'm going to be back in just a second, guys. I won't be showing you how to do any of the things that I'm about to do, but I will show you what it will look like if you put a little bit of effort into it. So I will be back in just a second. All right, guys, so as you can see, I have messed about with the house ever so slightly. Let's take a look, shall we? I actually didn't think that I should meddle with it too much so we'll start with the interior then we'll have a look at the outside so for the interior quite obviously ripped up the floor replaced it with black stained clay because it's my favorite material in the game then i had to light this place up because it was looking really dark look at all of the torches look at all of these torches there will be no vampires in here then i decided to add two staircases one on the left here one on the right i was only going to go with one but there's a lot of space in the downstairs so i figured hey why not go with two i always like dual staircases better so i figured two's better than one and since there's loads of space why not so that's the first floor moving up to the second floor here again just loads of room i haven't really done anything up here other than just absolutely light the crap out of this place absolutely no vampires there's no bats hanging around and you know what guys i actually decided that i didn't want to install a third floor although you obviously could there is more than enough room just underneath the roof here for a third floor but i kind of wanted to leave this effect i just kind of like wanted these beams to hang around and i wanted to be able to see the roof kind of i don't know i just i kind of liked it a little bit more and of course we've just got these little crevices on the left and right hand side where you could hide stuff if you wanted to pretty cool massive amount of room you can have three floors if you so choose that's completely up to you and and that's the interior i just wanted to show you guys how much space you were working with and show you how many torches i had to add to actually make this place nice and bright so let's move to the outside so i actually think i made a bit of an error with the outside of this house i really don't think i should have added what i did add like i don't think that i should have gave it a moat and i don't think that i should have like outlined that moat and added fence on top of it i think i should have probably have just maybe added some flowers 
and maybe just some mossy path or something, and I, I think I should have probably have just been done with it. I think I've actually ruined the outside of the house ever so slightly. I, th I think I've made a grievous error, is what I'm saying. I, I probably wouldn't do this to the outside of the house if I was going to do it again, if you guys see what I'm saying. But just in case you guys like this, I mean different tastes and etc. Um, dug a moat around the outside of the house, just one block all the way around. Then I replaced placed underneath this moat, you won't be able to see it, but there's a black stained clay underneath the moat and underneath the house where I had to dig it out. Then I obviously outlined the moat with spruce wood and then placed a never brick fence all the way on top. Then I did a layer of mossy brick path. Is that what it's called? Guys, I can't remember the names of materials. Mossy stone bricks all the way around the spruce wood. And then I just added a hedge. And as usual, underneath the hedge is just some black stained clay. And it's as simple as that. So... Uh, that's what I did to the interior and the exterior. It really doesn't need too much. Again, if I could do the exterior again, I wouldn't do what I've done. I, I mean, maybe if I got rid of the fence, and maybe if I didn't shape, like, um, like the corners here, if you guys can see, it's kind of like following the house. Maybe if I kind of like kept it as like a square, rather than try and like shape it a little bit, I, I think that I'd actually like it a little bit better. I think maybe it's because I, uh, because of what I've done with the shape. I mean, maybe I'd like it if it was a bit more rectangular. That that might be a little bit better, guys. That might be a little bit better. I actually I actually do think the house would actually look good if I did just shape it. You know what? I think I'll actually do that for the thumbnail. I don't think I'll have this. I think I'll make the amendments that I want to make to it. And I think that that's the only thing that's bugging me. I think it's just because I kind of came in here and made it a weird shape. I don't think I like that. But anyway, guys, we don't have to do that on recording, do we? So... Hopefully you guys managed to make this house no problem. Hopefully you like it as much as I do. I really like it. It's, it's a simple house to make. It takes a little bit of time because it is big, but I think it is fundamentally quite easy to build. I think it's good looking. Um, thanks, guys, and I will see you in the next video.